Hi, this is Dr. Ballard. I'd like to share some information today about uncovering the hidden health data that's in 23andMe test results. I know there's a lot of frustration out there by those who've used 23andMe hoping to find out something about their health and, and then being disappointed to not see it. Well, the health information is there. It's buried in the raw data, and I'll show you how to dig it out. I'll end up also plugging my own service today. Thanks for listening. If you're one of the thousands who have used 23andMe hoping to learn something about your health, you were probably disappointed. 23andMe only provides hereditary reports. You can find out your percentage of Neanderthal, but the FDA restricts them from generating any kind of health reports. What's hidden in your 23andMe report? Well, it's huge. Which drugs you're more likely to do well or poorly with? Hormone and neurotransmission uh, regulation of mood, uh, inflammation, autoimmune diseases, food sensitivities, and disease susceptibility. Although disease susceptibility is probably the least important or interesting part of the DNA data, despite all of the hoopla you hear about it. Why would you want to know your genetics? Why the bad news, as some people ask me? Well, because despite what you've been led to believe, your health destiny is not fixed. You can change how your DNA blueprint is expressed. These two mice, for instance, are genetically identical, bred for obesity, diabetes, and cancers. But the mouse on the right is healthy from eating a special diet, uh, an especially nutritious diet. Even his fur has resorted to the normal color. That's because of epigenetics, or what happened to the mouse after it was born, after it was set in motion by its genes. There are three ways for you to explore your DNA data to reveal the health implications. Number one is to do it yourself. The next is to consult a health care provider. The third is to hire an interpretation service. We're going to go through all three of these, but let's start with the do-it-yourself. Once your 23andMe test is finished, log into your account. In the upper right-hand corner, next to your name, click on the down arrow and then on Browse Raw Data. The Browse Raw Data page looks like this. From here, you can explore different genes. If you know that you're, what you're looking for, you can type in the gene for further information. For instance, here I've typed in MTHFR. This is a gene that's involved with folate, a B vitamin, and methylation. Um, this will take you to a page that contains research findings. On the other hand, if you entered uh, DAO here in the slot, that would give you information about a gene that influences the breakdown of histamine in the body. This is a list of different MTHFR genes. Note at the top, I say I have, it says I have uh, 59 SNPs. SNPs are alternative versions of the gene that may potentially cause problems with your health. Uh, I can further explore these by clicking that plus symbol that's on the left. This opens up the box that shows several links to research. If I click on the reference link, it takes me to various scientific articles. There's maybe one, there may be hundreds. It depends on how much research has been done on that particular gene. This is the kind of the secret background information that your DNA is whispering to you, or maybe in some cases it's shouting this information at you. If you can find the right health professional, this method works, but realize this is a very new science. It's barely in the medical schools now and wasn't there just a few years ago. Also, your genome contains thousands of bits of information. Sorting through that takes hours, not the typical 15-minute office visit. There is also no official registry of health providers with this expertise. I suggest that you look for a naturopathic doctor or a functional method doctor or perhaps a holistic practitioner and ask if they have advanced training in this area. An easier way to look at your DNA data is to hire a third party to produce a report, a report for you. There's a number of companies offering this service for a fee. 
you send them the copy of your 20, 23andMe data, and for a fee, they organize that into a report. These vary widely, both in price and in um, quality, and they all have their own agendas. A limitation of many of these third-party reports that I've seen is that they tend to focus on only a few genes. For instance, there are reports that claim to tell you about your athletic ability, or detoxification, or drug metabolism, or mood. There's a company in Seattle, for instance, that will cost you over $1,000 to find out which medications you maybe do or don't process very well and need to be careful of. But the reality of the situation is that genetics is much more complicated than this. We are not, um, you know, individual isolated little boxes that don't interact with each other. We're an integrated network of interconnections. A person's mood is influenced by neurotransmitters, but also by hormones, by environmental toxin levels, by their overall energy. And athletic ability does involve muscles, yes, but also concentration and joint health and overall energy. All of the chronic diseases involve multiple genes, multiple enzymes, and body systems. The diabetic, for instance, who has poor nutrition and circulation and high oxidative stress will be much sicker than the diabetic without these. The second problem and my pet peeve with these reports are that they focus on the high profile diseases. You're maybe the, seeing the same uh, magazine articles about the reporter who gets his test back and it shows that he has a certain percentage of chances of having diabetes or whatever. It's a disappointment for most people because they probably already mm -hmm. knew what their family history was. But more importantly, so what? I, I think you'd rather know what's to be done. What can you do to actually improve your health? Again, we see the simplistic thinking drawing ridiculous conclusions. The companies producing these reports show a lack of understanding of what genes actually do. Only a handful of diseases are associated with a single gene. Most are far more complex and the genetics associations aren't even worked out yet. Big diseases are the result of many little factors including hundreds of genes and dozens of lifestyle components. Again, the mouse on the right had virtually a 100% chance of becoming obese, diabetic, and cancerous, but it's healthy. The third problem with most of these genetic reports is their lack of help with solutions. Decoding your DNA is only the first step. You want to turn that information into an action plan that optimizes your health. You want a death prediction or do you want a solution? I think most people say, I want some kind of solutions. I already know I have this family history, but what can I do about it? Your action plan starts with an understanding of your genetics and health history and builds on that to develop lifestyle modifications. To do this, you need a healthcare provider that understands genetics, nutrition, detoxification, and other lifestyle factors that are known to modify genes. Unfortunately, too many genetic reports leave you with the message that you have a risk of a disease like Alzheimer's and an action plan that says something like, well, just wait until the next blockbuster drug is released. This isn't the message your genes want to hear, and I don't think it's the message that most of us want to hear. Why natural solutions to lifestyle problems? Because that's how your genes developed over millions of years in the natural world. Your genes are nurtured by a clean environment, healthy foods, and healthy activities for the mind and body. The depressed person doesn't have a Prozac deficiency. He has a disruption in normal functioning that needs supporting, that needs nurturing. Okay, now for my pitch. 
I started a service called Natural DNA Solutions in 2013 because I recognized the huge potential for DNA testing but couldn't find anyone offering a comprehensive genetic review that included a health plan. It took me over a year to develop NDS reports, but they are really based on over 32 years of providing scientifically based natural medicine. I've always believed that the only way to attain health is by nurturing our nature. What genetics does is it adds a deeper level of understanding to further individualize treatment plans. Natural DNA solution reports are 50 or more pages long and include the following. First, there's a basic understanding of genetics. Second is a, a graphic overview of your particular genes and what they do. Third is the specific nurturing suggestions for, your, uh, for correcting your genetic variations. And fourth is an individualized focused action plan for overcoming limitations to improve your health. All of these reports are confidential. Only you decide who sees them. I graduated from Bastyr University near Seattle in 1982. I'm the author of Nutrition 123, numerous articles, and various videos that you can see on the YouTube channel at Tom Ballard ND. And I'm the creator of Natural DNA Solutions, providing health reports and action plans based on your DNA data. Thanks for your attention, and always remember, nurture your nature.